Hello, I'm here with Marie Peterson, International Business Development and Marketing Vice President of Geek Plus and one of the winners of this year's Women in Supply Chain Award, presented by Supply and Demand Chain Executive. Marie, first off, congratulations on this win. Welcome to our program today. Thank you so much. I'm really happy to be here. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your company? Yes, yeah, so I'm um, Marie Peterson. I oversee yes global marketing, and basically I've been accompanying Geek Plus in its international expansion for the past three years. Um, Geek Plus is a has grown from a robotic startup focusing on logistics to really a global leader in AMR technology. So auto that's autonomous mobile robots. And what Geek Plus does is we create robotic systems for warehouse automation. Um, that are going to make logistics more flexible, efficient um, for retailers, 3PLs, etc. And in the past three years that I've been there, we've um, successfully grown in over 30 countries and set up offices throughout the U.S. and Europe. So it's been a very exciting three years. So what attributes do you think a successful supply chain leader should have? I think that strategic thinking is really important because it's the basically the ability to always keep uh, the long-term goal in mind and have the whole process um, always top of mind. Try and always go beyond what your present preoccupations um, or daily crises will be. Uh, secondly, I think curiosity is really important. Um, adapting to the ever-changing you know, business environment and understanding, especially understanding and integrating new technologies, never really resting on your laurels. And finally, I think having a general openness is very important because supply chain is borderless. So you need to be very open, um, open minded to integrate that into your daily work. So what kinds of challenges have you faced in the industry and how did you work to overcome them? I would say that there's there's a certain set of challenges that come from working in a truly multicultural environment. Um, so understanding it really bows down to understanding um, various that various cultures don't have a similar way of communicating, um, and that especially when we're using digital tools. So really, there's there's no my solution to that is there's no such thing as um, over communication. It's much better to make your point clear. Um, don't just assume that people will understand what you mean. And that's what makes um, uh, what can make a truly rich work life. And also uh, being in a very fast growing business is both thrilling and can be um, can threaten to be overwhelming sometimes. So it's really important to to keep um, setting very clear, achievable goals um, and building, understanding that everything is built step by step. And what is it like being a woman in a traditionally male dominated industry? You know, it's something that I often forget um, until I see a picture of an event or a meeting I was at and realize that I was the only woman there um, or, you know, one of very few women. Uh, it's I think where where I'm lucky um, is that uh, technology is more um, has there's more and more women that are joining robotics and technology in general. So there's a very if you look at the junior junior engineers that are joining um, is a lot more um, mixed and diverse than it used to be. Uh, but I, I definitely hope that more women will be excited about uh, supply chain. And why do you think more women should be involved in the industry? And how can we work with companies to recruit and retain more of these talented women? Well, in my experience, women in our industry tend to be highly strategic, uh, very goal driven, uh, high drive, and especially a knack for observation and informed opin opinions that are extremely valuable to have. Um, I believe that featuring um having highlighting women's roles across all uh, areas of your of your company will help um recruit uh junior talents or senior talents and attract more women um it's really putting more of a spotlight on these women and these crucial roles and the roles that um and their, the value that they're bringing to your business so what advice do you have for those first starting out in the industry uh, well, in supply chain, I think it's really important to, to dare to, to kind of dream big and know that you can leave your mark on it because uh, the supply chain is moving so much. Also, um, 
having, you know, realizing that the industry does move faster than you think. So keeping this eye out on new technologies is super important. Um, and as finally, my main advice would be join a company that's going to support and empower your passion. So how does it be feel, how does it feel to be named one of supply and demand chain executives top women in supply chain? It's very cool. Um, it's all very exciting. I've th these past three years have been um, have allowed me to grow so much, and it's I'm really proud um, of this achievement, and I'm delighted to to be among such a cool group of women. Marie Peterson, International Business Development and Marketing Vice President of Geek Plus and one of the recipients of Supply and Demand Chain Executives Women in Supply Chain Award. To learn more about Marie, go to stcexec.com.